God damn it is hot in here. So take off all your clothes. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that opportunity to make that joke. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with fellow YouTuber and real life friend Sharon Farrell. Hello. I'm sure you guys know her, but um, if you are not subscribed, I will leave all of her links in the description box. Today, what are we doing, Sharon? We are, well, uh, we've already recorded a video that went on my channel, that was a while ago actually, um, products that are not worth the hype. So we thought we would follow up today by telling you some products that we think are worth the hype. Do you want to go first? We try. We actually tried not to tell each other what we were gonna. We didn't tell each other. Yeah. Yeah. But I did reveal that I might be using this, and Karima was like, "Damn it! I wanted to use that." It is the, the beauty, beauty blender. blender. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is. It's just such a perfect little product. It it does exactly what you want it to do. Yeah. It just applies foundation flawlessly, airbrushed, and it is a really hyped about product. So many people talk about it I think on YouTube and I use it yeah I feel like the beauty blender revolutionized makeup yeah yeah I think that that's like the the truly you know innovative tool of the past 10 years or so I reckon you're right actually and thinking about it a lot of the like crazy contouring trends that we've seen on Instagram and on YouTube over the past few years wouldn't be possible made possible by beauty blender like a beauty blender yeah to blend all of those yeah. really contrasting tones together amazing really good for dry skin and full coverage foundations yeah yeah Okay, to start with, Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks. Um, today, Sharon is wearing the shade Masochist, and it looks amazing on her. I love it. You need this one. Of the liquid lipsticks that I've tried, I think these are the most comfortable formula. They are a little bit drying, but I think that's inherently what you're going to get with a liquid lipstick. Yeah. I do find that uh, they don't settle into the lip lines. They're not terribly unflattering on textured lips. If you do reapply two or three times, they will get a little bit crumbly, but you know, that's the price you pay. The yeah. colors, amazing. Yeah. The longevity, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what They're you said. Amazing. No texture issues. Yeah. Okay, so the next one, I was looking through my collection and I was trying to find products that were really, really overhyped. And I think that this was a hyped product. I was doubting myself when I was going through stuff. No. Um, I think the Brow Wiz is a brow pencil. It seems like it would be like, a pretty bog standard kind of product but for me the first time I used this I thought like holy crap like this is amazing it's like a tiny tiny nib so it's really precise oh, yeah and you get well you're supposed to get a spoolie on the end <laughs> mine broke off which is quite unfortunate um but the texture of the product it creates a really realistic looking brow and i find like when you build on it it builds texture like it has yeah. that waxiness to it that builds texture and i it, i just think it's a really easy product to use to get nice natural but defined brows i think that this is hyped about but i'm actually not 100 percent sure would you say that there was yeah. a Okay, good. No, I think there was. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Now, I think that she said in her videos that she uses this as a sculpting product. I think it's a little bit warm mm -hmm. to be a sculptor product and it's got shimmer in it. But I do think that it's a lovely bronzer for pale skin. If you are any deeper than me, I think that this will actually not register as a whole heap. Yeah. Yeah, that's like an... That would be like an NW... like. 30 or an nw25 <laughs> love it so it's you can see it's actually quite quite a pale shade yeah and the highlight is a brilliant gold highlight and quite intense so i think that this would work really well on those who are on the sort of fair medium side the powder is really finely milled you know the texture is really refined it's i think it's worth the hype my final product is um the, uh, this is like so hype i love this it product. took me so long to try it it is the maybelline instant age rewind concealer i only started using this late last year because i couldn't find my shade it was always sold out but i found it when i was in new york and this is my second container and you can see i'm halfway through <laughs> so i clearly really well really loved. like it um, it just it's got great coverage but it's really lightweight so it doesn't doesn't dry or like cake under the eyes but it sets and stays put so i think especially for an affordable drugstore amazing, product yeah. it's absolutely amazing and i really like this ball applicator oh, I, I i really like it do you not like it because of from a hygiene perspective or you just don't like it Actually, like application wise, I don't mind it, but every time I see that little sponge on my own, I'm like, oh, yeah, it is. Why? Like, it kind of looks a bit gross and it's a bit crusty. But 
for like ease of application and it convenience. It does. It does work great. for application. Yeah. Mm. My final product that deserves the hype. Makeup Geek Shadows. I'm so surprised that you didn't put these in yours because I think, like, I associate Makeup Geek with you. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, you know, well, the only reason I didn't is because you said that you were going to be putting them in the video. Uh, and I was okay. like, well, I can't. All right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Makeup Geek Shadows, really, really great price point. Yeah. I would say that the quality is quite comparable to, say, MAC, mm -hmm. but perhaps more consistent between shades. I agree. Do you? Yes. Yeah. I feel so validated. Yeah. No, I, I think MAC, I, don't get me wrong, I love MAC love eyeshadows, Mac, yeah. but there's a lot of misses. Misses, yeah. Like Brun. Love Brun in the brows, but on the eyes, I always found that to be yeah. not so great. But I think Makeup Geek is very consistent. I'm particularly fond of the mattes. She does a great range of mattes. Mm -hmm. I think the colors as well. Like She just has really interesting colors. Really interesting colors. Like, I feel like Peach Smoothie is like a modern classic. <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comment section what are some products that you think are worth the hype. Definitely go check out the, the video on Sharon's channel. What are we doing on your channel? We are going, oh, we've got a good <laughs> one. We are going through some old photographs of us in our younger days wearing some experimental makeup and questionable fashion choices and basically just having a laugh at ourselves. So it Questionable be brows. Questionable brows. <laughs> You know, we've all been there. Yeah, we've all been there. The 90s was not kind. <laughs> so definitely go and check out that video. Uh, we hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll, we'll speak, speak to you very soon. soon. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, I know what's next. I know the next one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this is always the most awkward bit. The, the, the hello and the goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? I'm not good at goodbyes. <laughs> okay.